Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible back with another Xbox Game Pass monthly quest guide. Today we're going to be working on the quest for Forza Horizon 4, which is always a pleasure to drive around in. This is, like I said, a monthly quest, so it's going to be good through May 3rd. We need to earn 7,000 influence within Forza Horizon 4, which sounds like a lot, but it's actually not too bad. Probably take you about 20 minutes to earn these 150 rewards points. So you may have a lot of introductory stuff to get through when you first start up Forza Horizon 4 if you've never played it before. One of the new things I was seeing was an ad for the Welcome Pack, which is a new pack that I guess you can download as DLC to go along with the game. So you can go to the store to find out more about that if you wish, but I just hit B to go ahead and hop back into the game. I don't really need any new cars or anything to complete this quest, so we'll just go with what we've got. So what I would recommend after you get past all these messages is go into the world map, so you can press start and then press A on the world map, and head to this area over to the eastern side of the map. It looks like a really beachy area. There's a castle over there, Bamberg Castle, and there's an influence board over there. So I set that as my waypoint because I know that all of the influence boards within this game are worth 1,000 influence. So every time we hit one of those, we're getting a seventh of the quest finished. But keep in mind that as you're driving towards your destination, just about everything you do will earn you a little bit of influence. Even if you're like crashing through fences or sliding around, all of those things can earn you influence. And there's no way that I'm aware of to lose influence. But just as you're driving along, make sure you keep an eye out for any of those purple influence boards that might be appearing on your mini map. You'll see me actually crash through three different ones during the course of this playthrough. And two of them I just stumbled upon as I was driving towards the beachy area. And a lot of them appear at intersections or turns. So you'll see actually coming up here, I think I have a head-on collision with somebody. I wasn't paying attention to the road very well and started sliding. But anyway, you can see at the lower left where the little map is, there's a purple board that's nearby. So just to give you a glimpse at what those look like, they say 1,000 on them and look kind of purplish like that. So just smash through them and you'll immediately get 1,000 of the 7,000 that you need. And here's another one that I just spotted as I was driving along, clipped it and grabbed another 1,000 right there. So. As you're working toward the, the beachy area over to the east, you can you can definitely pick up some points along the way. And here's the third board that I had actually mapped out from the very beginning that's close to the east. And you'll see me smash through this one here, so that's my 3,000 points that I needed. And in order to finish up, I would recommend going to that beachy area to the east of the castle. There are lots of good jumps and, you know, quite a bit of open area to just experiment out here. So you can go off of jumps and grab a bunch of influence points just for doing that sort of thing. Do some hard turns and that'll make you get a drift, which is worth some points. And you might have a car with a little bit better traction than mine. Mine was kind of sliding all over the place. But if you've got a little bit better traction, you'll probably do even better on the beach and pick up all of those 7,000 points that you need. Like I said, I'm even getting points here for knocking over fences, wreckage, landscaping, all kinds of stuff. So you can, you can get points in quite a few different ways in this game and work on that XP. The 7,000 will probably appear for you in no time. Like I said, probably 20 minutes or less to complete this. So there we go, we've got the monthly quest ready to turn in. We'll go ahead and hold down the Xbox button to turn that in and grab those 150 rewards points. Thank you Microsoft for giving us 150 for each of these monthly quests. That's awesome this month. I hope they keep doing that. Anyway, that's going to do it for Forza Horizon 4. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel, don't forget that we do have memberships that are available here on the channel. So if you can click the join button, you'll find a bit more about that program and how that works. And thanks so much for watching our videos here on the Rewards Hunter channel. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.